time I saw the whole team stand up. Where you headed? Gonna see your mama. Me and, me and Coach Nick got uh got some news Ooh, to tell you, bro. bro. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let Coach Nick tell you, yeah? Hey. Oh. Hey, bro, look. It's it's this this like a a, a big, 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 big opportunity for you, brother. Probably the uh some of the biggest news you're gonna hear so far this year. I'm gonna keep it simple, bro. We 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 forwarded for you and we got, we decided to give you the number seven on defense. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Bro. Yes, you deserve it, fool. <laughs> thing for a man to do, especially a black man, is be consistent. This kid has been consistent month after month after month. He's still the same guy, and he's our number seven. And without further ado, it is uh, what a great pleasure and honor to honor this number seven to Joe Town. They did they put they did they the correct way. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna follow the legacy. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm gonna do. Your own legacy. Yeah. Don't let the number make you, you make the number. Right. Because it's not a digit. It's a mindset. It's the pulse of the team. And you got that already. You know, like you told them in the end, you the one. You the one they gonna look to. You the one they gonna find. It's not gonna be me. It's gonna be you. So really, your check could be right here, right next to me. But for me, I'm willing to share my chair with you in order for everybody to have success. Yeah, and never forget that the players make the program. Right. The program don't make the players. Just remember that. Remember that that conversation we had, the one and the nine. Now you got to find and align the other nine, the other nine leaders on the team. You the one. Now let's find and align the nine. That's your job. Your job is to lead the top ten. The top ten job is to lead the rest of the team together. And that's the only way we can do it, together. On your back, on your sweat, on your hard work. But when your sweat dry up, know that you got my sweat and the coach's sweat and they blood and they sacrifice that's going to be behind you. We behind you now. 
And I want you to understand with the, the weight of that number do have, but I think your shoulders are broad enough to carry. You good? That's cool. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. You're going to do good. He been through a lot and I know when it's back against the wall, he gonna be that person that we can count on to get it done. Right. And speaking of that, just talk about what kind of person can we expect to see from Joe. Um, now that he's wearing number seven going into next season, not only on the field but in the building and at practice. All right, I think I think we we gonna really see a, a stronger person, but overall he gonna be the same person because from before he was even number seven, he was he was a solid person, uh, a leader on and off the field. So yeah, you know he gonna be solid. Um, just talk about how you feel he gonna be able to carry that legacy of winning number seven, not only on the field but off the field and in the building. You know all he been through, the stuff he been through, this ain't gonna really be no. I feel like he just gonna take it on, pay it on. You know, ain't gonna be no problem to him. He gonna do it. He gonna get the job done for him. Instead of a finalist in the 10th grade, tell me what that means uh, for the win number seven. Yeah, it means a lot. So I got the ability to, you know, piggyback off the other seven and know that I can be a team at a young age. Just talk about leading up to the process, man. Um, when you knew you was a finalist, uh, what was going through your head and, and how you felt about the whole process? Uh, at first, I felt pressure, but as I go on, you know, even Joe helped me. He, he knew he was a father. He helped me out, you know, helped me through it. So that showed a lot of character in him. Without him, I probably won't be, you know, have most of the abilities to be down there for seven. Right. And what can we expect from him? How are you going to lead this team? We're getting a hard worker, you know. He come, he come, he come to workouts every day. He come work. He come off the field. He get his schoolwork done. He go to Twitter and sometimes when he, you know, he don't got his work done. He get his work done. Of course, number seven is a, a, a big part of our football culture. Uh, a lot of great players have worn that number. Uh, it serves a lot of purposes and meaning. Um, it's, it's usually a, our best player, our, our leader, one of our captains, one of our, you know, our spiritual leaders. It's a very important number to our program. Um, number symbolizes just the, the leadership, and the, and the courage, all of like the hard work you put in and it, it just it's, it's just a good feeling today i ain't gonna lie to have seven and a number 10 back in the linebacker room that, that's that symbolic of the, the leadership and uh like the hard work you put in just to receive those type of numbers in in a call you know the call program you know it, it's just not it's just not a number just for show uh that that number means when you know when that game is on the line uh you know uh but uh, it, it's that time of the game in the full quarter when we need a play to be made, your number could be called. And I'm even more confident in him as a scene coming in this year. Been through a lot of adversity, but football is his way out. And you can tell by the energy he brings every day at practice. You know, he really wants to get a scholarship. He's a good student, uh, made good ACT scores. You know, so his mind is in the right place. He's trying to uh, position himself, you know, to get in college and, you know, do some things with himself. As far on, on the field, what you see is what you get with number seven. I mean, you, you just think about all the plays he made last year. And, I mean, especially, you know, him being able to embrace the number seven and the tradition that it carries. You know, I think that he's going to take on that role and he's going to he's going to thrive in it. So I'm excited for him. Every other seven been vocal, not vocal, vocal, not vocal, and he both them. You know what I'm saying? So watch the joke at that seven man. Blessed for me and a blessing for him. So just talk about um, when you got that phone call last week <laughs> that you was awarded to what number seven. Um, for next season, I need you to group of men. What was going through your mind? Like, to be honest, it was a dream. Like, it's a dream that I've been dreaming, but when it, that call came to me, I was like, this can't be real. Right. I was, I was excited. Like, the, the first person I told my mom and my girl was like, <laughs> like, she was like, that's completion. Right. I'm ready to complete this team as a whole. Right. All right, y'all. Good. Good job, bro. Good job.